Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another timeless pick a card reading. Today we are going to explore the question, are you catastrophizing? Now, what is this concept? Well, I'll link to it below so that you can see the therapist who talks about this concept. I really enjoyed that video and it got me thinking about all the different areas in life where we catastrophize. So for example, we do this in work. I'll give you an example. Let's say the last time I did a presentation at work, it went really badly and I was nervous and I fumbled and my voice went all wavery and there was a long pause and I didn't know what to say and I felt like an idiot. And then let's say I'm invited to do another presentation. And all I can do is think about the last time when this happened and it went really badly. And I start thinking about that and I think, oh no, the last time I did that, it went so badly. You know, I don't want to do it again. And your thoughts can even go further. You can start to create extra thoughts like this is going to be a disaster. I might lose my job. I might end up homeless. You know, you start catastrophizing, right? Instead of thinking, it's okay, happens to everybody, you know, maybe I just need to practice. Maybe I just need to get a coach or a tutor. I, I need some help. You know, rather than doing something about it, we catastrophize. So we do that in work. We do that in our love life as well. You know, we think, wow, the last time I expressed my true feelings, I was rejected. You know, the time before that, I was ghosted. And, and it starts to put you off. You start to think, well, no, I better not say anything or I better not do anything because I'll just get hurt, right? And, you know, some new person comes along and maybe it's all different now or something like that. And you just project the past into your future. And you think this new person is going to be like that old person. You know, maybe they're not. So we're going to explore this today. We're going to see where this is happening in your life. Another classic area is the world. Okay, this happens in the world. We think, oh my God, they're putting these rules in place. What are we going to do? Like, it's probably going to be like this in 10, 20 years time, you know, 40 years time is going to be even worse. You know, pretty soon you've got this dystopian vision of the future and, and that's not what we want to create, right? So in each of the groups this time, that's what we're going to explore. So this time I didn't have time to pre-draw the cards. I have had such a busy week, guys. And what I've done is we're just going to live shuffle. I've got one Oracle deck here, which is the Earth Wisdom Oracle deck. And feel free to choose from between deck one, two or three. And I'll see you in your reading. Those of you who chose group number one, welcome group number one. Let's take a look and see what, now I'm going to shuffle these on camera. <laughs> I'm just going to do it behind the camera. I haven't done this before. I haven't done a live thing like this before. So I'm very excited and nervous. Oh, well, that wants to be here. Oh, hello. Good card. We're keeping it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I like to pre-shuffle, but uh, let's see how we go here. And this way I really get to tune in to the energy of the group and see what is happening. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle and then we're going to keep the bottom deck card. We're going to see what that is. Okay. The Eight of Wands, right? We've got the Fool already. We've got the Ace of Swords. And we're asking the question, are you catastrophizing? Well, I tell you, I don't think you're catastrophizing in the area of love. That is beautiful. Good on you, group number one. Okay, we've got the seven of swords, uh, wands in reverse. Okay, so let's take a look and see what this is about. Well, I think when it comes to love, I actually think you're quite, you're ready and you're open for love. There's no catastrophizing here for you whatsoever. And I feel like you are about to embark on a new journey of some kind. And that is in regards to love. But there is some kind of very interesting situation happening here. There's like a rush of messages or rush of communications. There's going to be some 
communications or some new ideas come into you coming up in the future. So that is quite interesting. But these are in the reverse position. I kind of feel like sometimes perhaps you don't know the right words to say and sometimes perhaps you you don't know how to defend yourself actually and that might be an area where you catastrophize or that might be an area where you ruminate and you have thoughts going in your mind you know did I say the right thing and I think you also worry about being in a situation where perhaps you have to stand up for yourself you have to defend yourself but you're worried that you know I'm, I'm terrible at that and you possibly might think that you are slow to speak up or to like perhaps you're the kind of person that after the event you're like oh I should have said this you know why didn't I think why didn't I think of this to say but I also think that the cards are saying to you that you can trust yourself you will have the right words come in at exactly the right moment especially now I think you're being encouraged by these cards I think you're being given a lot of confidence actually to go ahead to go ahead on this new venture this new path there's a new path opening up for you I think it could be in regards to love that's absolutely beautiful don't worry you will have the right words to say but I think there is some kind of thing where you possibly catastrophize about oh, I don't know if I would say the right thing or maybe you know um, I'm going to say the wrong thing there's something along those lines where I think you might be stuck or worried in that regard let's take a look at your oracle cards and see what comes through I'm going to draw two of these I can shuffle them on camera <laughs> I always forget this well, this is my first time live shuffling. Okay, so we're going to take two. We're going to take that one and we're going to take... Oh, it went away. I'll shuffle again. That one. Okay. Let's see what you get. Okay, we've got responsibility. Wow yes I can see that here I can see that I think you feel very responsible and I think you know that when you speak it's important that you get it right I think you want I think you're hard on yourself actually is what I think here I think I think you are a little bit hard on yourself you're critical of yourself and I think that's where you catastrophize maybe that's where you ruminate you ruminate over oh god did I say the right thing <clears throat> you might be quite in your thought energy um, quite up in your head kind of thing quite a lot and that's okay that's there's nothing wrong with that but this new path that you're going to be going down that is all about the heart that's all about feeling so this is kind of a little bit useless and not needed anyway this you needing to speak up you needing to defend yourself if you're going down this path of love what what do you need to defend you know like what what is there to defend kind of thing on a true path of love you're being your true full self and i heard someone say i think this was byron katie that defense is the first form of attack which is really interesting isn't it but I think and I think as a person you're very responsible I think you care a lot you don't want to hurt someone else you don't want to get hurt that's great these are great qualities but at the same time you don't want to catastrophize to the point that you're missing out on life right or that you're ruminating too much or you're being too much in your head that you miss out let's have a look at this what's this oh wow beautiful clear aura gosh that's lovely oh wow and there's like a motorbike go down my street okay don't know what that's about let's see if i can factor that in clear aura and well that was the speed that's this that's movement right oh how fascinating queen of cups let's keep her 
She's great. She's great to have in a reading. We're having her. All right. Um, yes, yeah, so there's clearly the love cards are fantastic here. Okay. And this is a clear aura. Now, is this... Oh, and what's on her shoulder? Oh, wow. It's a tattoo, I think. Hang on. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, so is this you? Is this your person? I've just got in my head both of you are clear. Okay, that's great. Good. And we've got the Queen of Cups making her presence here. Let's take that and let's... Hang on, I don't want to see what <laughs> the other card is. I want to shuffle. And I want to ask... Okay, what do I want to ask? So are you catastrophizing? Is this, okay, so there's something about love. What do I want to clarify here? I want to clarify these two. Let's, because I think we know that this new journey that you are on, this is something to do with love. And it doesn't have to be another person. This can be just an expansion of love. This can be your heart expanding to love. This can be you loving your days more, you loving being alive more, you know, you breathing in the fresh morning air or whatever it is, right? Like you're just, you're happy, right? There's some beautiful energy here coming in for you. But there's this, which is a little bit discordant. And there's some movement. So let's, let's see what this is about. Let's get some clarification on what are you worried about at the moment? What are you ruminating over? What are you catastrophizing over? What do you think might go wrong? Let's take it. Okay, so we've got, oops, hang on, don't want to make a mess of this. Just park that there. Okay, yeah, we've got the King of Cups. Interesting, in reverse. So we've got the King and the Queen. We've got divine, divine counterparts here, but the King is in reverse. Okay. Yeah, this is something about you feeling like maybe you don't know what to say. Oh, how lovely. Three of Cups upright. Beautiful. And why don't we take one more Oracle card as a final... That's jumping out. Okay, let's take this one. Oh, wow. Self-acceptance. Yeah, I think what this is, is I think there's, some, there's something about you don't trust yourself or you feel like you're going to mess things up or, you know, you're not, I don't know, you're not going to say the right thing. Something like this. There's something along those lines. But there's so much energy here that's saying you should just accept yourself. This is a beautiful card. Self-acceptance. This card of you are amazing. You can do it. Look at how much you have already done in your life. Look at how much you've achieved. And you've got this beautiful social energy coming in here. A card of, you know, it's, it's time to, I guess, change the pace of life, to enjoy yourself more, to relax, to socialize, put your feet up. There's a new path opening up here for you. It's all to do with love. It's all to do with you being more loving, you letting more love in your life, all these wonderful things. So this is a really, really lovely spread. And this thing of catastrophizing, let that be a thing of the past. Okay, you don't need to do it because everything is good here. You've got a clear aura. I think the people around you would be quite clear. I'm not getting, you know, imagine if I got like a, seven of swords turn up or something like that i would be saying danger danger right <laughs> we don't we don't have that here we've got a really nice spread so group number one i hope this has been a good reading for you let me know in the comments below how you got on i absolutely love to hear from you how you find these and i look forward to seeing you next time Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. Let's, well, let's shuffle and see what you get. This is like my first time doing this whole live shuffling thing. I just did group one. It seemed to go kind of okay. <laughs> so let's see how I go here. Okay. I'll take that one. I'm going to see what do you catastrophize over? Or do you ruminate? Or do you think too much? Or 
Yeah, where are you being a bit negative in life? Where are you being a little bit pessimistic? And that's what we're going to explore through this spread today. We're going to see where you are. And I'm just going to shuffle a little bit more and we're going to take the bottom of the deck. Okay, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Right. Okay, Let's see what we've got. So we've got the Page of Pentacles. Okay. We've got the Eight of Cups in reverse. Three of Pentacles upright. Wow, you are busy. Gosh, okay. You are bit busy, busy. You're, you're working. You're not just working, you're really working. <laughs> like, yeah, I see that. Okay. Right, but where are you catastrophizing? Are you, do you know, I think work's going great and I think you're working really hard. I think you're making all kinds of money, all kinds of progress. You've got new, new sources of income coming in or new inspiration to continue working or new ideas, new ways of making money. There's an excitement about work for you. This is great. This is really great, but you are, well, this is a card where we, hang on, I don't want to see what the other card is. Here we go. Because <laughs> um, we might shuffle again a bit more. This, when it's upright, you are assessing. You're looking at what it is that you're creating and you're going, hang on, let's focus. Yeah. You're looking at what you're creating and you're going, right, I like it but I want to change it. You know, you, you're, you're midway through creating. It's that thing where like the painter steps back from the canvas and has a bit of a think. And maybe you change direction a little bit. Maybe you do something a bit different. Maybe, you know, you're kind of halfway making something, but you're assessing. I feel like because this is in the reverse position, you are not assessing. I think you're just, you got your head down and you're working. You're working really hard and that's great. That's really great to just be in that place. Are you catastrophizing about your work? I don't get that sense. I think you might be catastrophizing a little bit about love, possibly. This is a card of walking away. All right, so there's something like when this is upright you're walking away but in this position it's like maybe you're coming back maybe mm, that's okay let's i need more information let's see what's going on and i'm gonna uh, yeah i might clarify i might even clarify all of these i didn't have to with group one it was quite obvious what was going on there okay let's take these two and I'm clarifying on this Eight of Cups here. Why is that in the reverse position? Okay, Ten of Swords in reverse. Good. Okay. All right. Interesting. Very interesting. So the sun is here. What do you ruminate over? This is great in the reverse. This is the end of a cycle. You've ended a cycle. All these swords are going to fall out. You've ended a cycle. There has been something that you've been going through lately. And I'm telling you, the sun is coming out. Okay, so if you're not quite here yet with the sun in its upright position, you're not feeling the happiness, you're still here. Know that this is coming for you. Okay, you've got a good period of time, a good stretch of time coming up for you. So... You definitely don't have to worry. I'm still a little bit in the dark as to what this is. I'll take one more and then we'll have a look at the Oracle cards and we'll see. I'm just going to get, yeah, I'm having the, okay, I'm having these two. <laughs> okay, yeah, wow, far out. Ten of Wands in reverse. So again, this is quite similar to this. It's like a burden has ended. There's a burden. There's some burden that you've been carrying and I feel like you can put that down now. And the moon in reverse, look at that. That kind of, that really quite does match with this. You're ready to come out of isolation. Perhaps you've been in some isolation. Perhaps you've been 
hidden away, tucked away, and I feel like you're ready to start coming out again and start enjoying your life again. So I think you have been concentrating on work quite a bit. And when it comes to catastrophizing, I think you're, you, you, I don't see you as a catastrophizer actually. I think you've been going through just some actual stuff. This is not particularly things that you've been overly worried about and therefore projecting into your future unnecessarily. No, I, th I think you've actually, you've, you've just, you've gone through some stuff. I think you've had some actual just karma to pay and you've, yeah, you've kind of paid it now. I don't think you, you're not going to have to deal with this ever again. That's the best news that's come through this spread because these are in their reverse position. These are, these are, you know, you've completed, uh, and that, that's, that's really the end. Okay. That's, that's done. Yeah. Because this, these in the reverse, and I remember a Tara Vida saying that these just fall out and these just fall out of your hands kind of thing. So that's, that's over. There has been, I think some karma you've had to pay. You've paid it. And I'm telling you, the sun is going to come out. And I think work is your solace. Okay, work is going to be that place where you can, it's just neutral and reliable. You can just keep going to your work. It's not going to bite you. Okay, um, just put your head down and do your work, you know. And that's how I'm, what I tend to do. <laughs> okay, let's take a look and see what oracle cards come through. I don't see you as a catastrophizer. I think I see you as having just gone through something, but let's have a look at some more cards. Let's take this and we'll take this one. Okay, oops, I'm getting a bit messy here. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, how beautiful. Go with the flow. Yes, go with the flow. Absolutely. You go with that flow and I'm telling you, you're coming to this. You're coming to the glorious sun and it's going to come out and you're going to be happy, you know. And yeah, the, the phrase that popped into my mind is you're going to be happy for no reason. Isn't that wonderful? That's the best kind of happiness there is. Okay, because at the core of who you are, that is all that you are. You are love. You are happiness, you know. And you just go with the flow to get back to your natural state, to get back to your natural rhythms. That's what you need at this time. How beautiful. Group number two. That's lovely. Okay, let's take a look at this one. We might draw another one. Oh, wow. This just came out for group number one. Responsibility. Okay. This is, yeah, it's a beautiful card. And this is showing me that you are a very responsible person. You really care about other people's feelings. You really care about other people's emotions. You don't want to play with somebody or mess them around or see that eight of cups in reverse you'll walk away uh you know you don't want to you don't want to mess any anyone around i i strongly get that feeling and that's a beautiful thing that's really really good so keep being you group number two i'm going to take one more and see what comes through shuffle those really well okay that is there this is the one. <laughs> oh, how beautiful. Number 30, practical intuition. Yes, this is absolutely gorgeous. We've got this little rabbit here. How wonderful. You just need to go with the flow. This is kind of telling me, I'm getting the phrase, yeah, you need to take a load off. You need to relax and not be so responsible, okay? Uh, I think maybe, yeah, you're too responsible. So really take a bit of time out um, and and practical intuition indulge in stuff that you love okay whatever it is that you love doing indulge in that and practical intuition i think is she what is she she's gardening what is she doing hang on i can't even see that i'm not sure but she's doing something and the thing is this is I, I used to make beaded jewelry and one of my friends, she's a like energy healer, whatever in Hawaii. And she told me that there's a really important purpose as to why I was doing that. And she said that like it was really needed at the time when I was, when I was doing all of that. 
basically it brought me into the now moment. It was this artistic endeavor that I was doing. Wow, can you hear that bird? That is a loud bird. Okay. Interesting. And she said that like I needed to do some kind of hands-on meditation because when I was like making the bead of jewelry or whatever, I would zone out and I would kind of disappear. I would be in a place of there where there's no time. And at the moment, I actually get that through doing my readings for my clients. I lose track of time. And, you know, typically clients get more than the hour. That happens quite a lot. So, um, so yeah, I've got my place where I lose track of time. I have that now in my day job, you know. But before, when I didn't have that, particularly in my day job, I used to get it through doing beta jewelry or something like that. And I'm kind of getting a recommendation for you, group number two, if you can do something with your hands specifically, that's very kind of moon Mars in astrology. Like a moon Mars person, like they, their type of meditation is not necessarily just sitting still in the garden and doing nothing. Their meditation is where they're building something and then they zone out. And then and they're in that place where time doesn't exist. So I kind of I definitely get a sense for you group number two that you could really do with engaging in something where you know the time will evaporate. Find what that is and do some of that. That's important. All right, well, thank you so much for tuning in, group number two. You're very welcome to let me know how you get on with this reading in the comments below. I absolutely love to read your comments. So thank you so much to everyone who comments and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. Let's shuffle and see what cards come through for you. I'm loving doing this shuffling thing now. I was a bit nervous when I started, which was like two groups ago. Because <laughs> I always like to pre-choose the cards and then see them. But yeah, after like last week, I thought, oh, let's do something completely different. And here I am shuffling live quite fun but you know there is I still like pre shuffling the cards because then I can use like 10 different decks or something well I never do that many like six different decks right I love that so that's why I pre shuffle them but let's you know it's good to mix it up and do different things the other thing is I didn't have time to put things in the jar this week I would have loved to have put some Lester Levinson or something but okay so let's see what's up. oh my gosh Get out of town. This came again. This was just in the last group. That's insane. Okay, so we got seven. It's good. I'm, I'm not complaining. Probably sound like I'm complaining, but I'm just a bit amazed. Wow. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so we've got the Devil in reverse. Interesting. We've got ooh, Judgment in reverse. So we're looking at the question, what do you, what do you catastrophize over? Or... Do you ruminate or do you, are you particularly negative about some area in your life? We want to explore what that is. Okay, this is quite interesting. Hmm. This is quite interesting. I'm getting a sense that this could be work related this could be even to do this could be to do with a partnership if say for example you are married or you're in a business partnership this could be to do with a partnership like but a, a, you're in a committed relationship so this is not singles this is you are in some kind of thing I don't want to see that okay there we go seven of pentacles reverse I really want to clarify on these I'm going to clarify who knows quite a few and I'm going to turn a light on because <clears throat> all of a sudden it's gone dark is that too bright it's a little bit bright it doesn't matter it's important to to see what the cards are I want to clarify these two so it's judgment in reverse okay page of Pentacles and this one 
Oh, wow. Yeah, I think this is to do with marriage. Hang on, I want one more. But this is not, this is like not a single thing. This is, so if you are married or in a committed relationship, then stick around. But I mean, you're welcome to stick around anyway, because maybe this does have something. Okay. There's, so there's something that's feeling like a really heavy burden. And you, when this is in the upright position, as I said in the group before, you stop and you assess what it is that you're creating. But it's in the reverse. Hmm. Let's have a think here. You got the King of Cups upright. That's good. We like him being upright. Here you're defending yourself, but that's in the reverse position. So you're not particularly defending yourself. I'm getting that you are, you're being quite internal uh, at the moment. I think there's some burden that you're carrying by yourself. You're not being hooked into any drama or anything unnecessary. You're good here. I like this devil in reverse for you. But I'm kind of, perhaps you're... And yeah, you're kind of wanting to ascend to the next level, but you can't. This might be to do with a relationship where... So you're wanting to take things to the next level or you're wanting to do more but you can't, there's a heavy burden. You're not defending yourself. And this is something to do, like this is something to do with uh, material, materially as well. But this energy is very good. Okay, I need a couple more here. And I might take a couple of clarifiers as well. I'll just take one more, I won't be greedy. Okay, let's take that. Mmm, yeah, 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 you're, you're, this, is, this is very interesting. The outcome of the situation that you're in is that you are going to successfully navigate the waters and you are going to successfully leave a dynamic behind that is not working out. There's something right now in your world that's not working out. When it comes to love though, I do see that the masculine side of you, so whether you're a man or whether you're a female, it doesn't matter, the masculine within you is great, is loving, is your in it, your heart is in it, you want to give, there's a readiness about you, there's a generosity, there's a loving being in you, you're operating from the heart, so that you're in a fantastic space, but there's something about the situation that you're in, that it's like you can't get the next step started, like you can't, there's something about and it's like, because the firepower is, mm, it's like something about, you can't get the stars, you can't ignite or something. There's something like that, that you can't ignite the next level, okay? And it's like, you would like to, you want to ascend, but you can't. And it, this is all feeling like a burden. I don't know what this situation is, guys. I have no idea. But like, what I can see and what I can say in all confidence is that you are going to sail out of this and you're going to be leaving some baggage behind, okay? So you're going to be fine. You're going to be absolutely fine. What comes with you, I don't know. What remains, right, of this situation? Let's see. I'm so curious to see what your oracle cards are because this might help me, whoops, to find a bit of a context here so that I can see a little bit more because, I mean, this could even be like, this could be business, this could be marriage. I'm not 100% sure. I am definitely getting a seventh house vibe to all of this, what is happening here. Go on, let's take these two and I'll probably pull a third as well. 
My goodness, what are you going through, group number three? Okay, inspiration. Wow. Look at that. She's in this freezing cold place as well. It's 11, a master number. Yeah, this is, you're, you're dealing with some form of mastery. Look at how similar these are. I don't know, to me, like, and, and this is like, she's, she's moving on and she's inspired and she's ready to create the new. Out of this situation, I'm telling you, a lot of good is going to come, okay? So it's not, but you are, you're in something. I'm telling you, you're definitely in something. Let's see if I can get more specific. Okay, heart healing, yeah. I do see, though, that your heart is doing great. And I think that perhaps you could do with the other in this situation, having a bit of heart healing as well. We've got a number five here, so that's like a change of heart. Perhaps you could do with the other person having a change of heart, or you need someone to have a change of heart. Let's see, let's keep going here because I kind of want to get a bit more defined with this. No, get out, this is insane. This has come all three times. That's crazy. Okay, wow, responsibility. Every single person that has come for a reading today is so responsible. You guys are all amazing. Everybody who has clicked on this video, you truly feel responsible for other people. You really care. You're not, you know, you're not a kind of person to play with somebody's heart or to do games or to be silly or no, you, you really care. You're responsible. You really do care. And I think, you've, I think you've got a lot of burden, a lot of, is on your shoulders, group three. You've got a lot of um, responsibility and burden here. And, I'm, and what I'm seeing is that I think you're gonna, you are gonna go through, you, you're going through something that is testing you and that's bringing you to a point of mastery, okay? So the toughest challenges go to the PhD level people, right? You are that, okay? So you, whatever it is that you're dealing with, it, it requires a person, you know, has courage and skill and all these beautiful qualities. So you are that, definitely. And I think you've taken a lot on your shoulders and, and I think you're doing amazing, okay? You really are. And because you are in this situation, because you specifically are in it, I'm getting the sense things are going to come good for everybody. Everybody involved is going to be, whether they realize it or not later, whether they realize and recognize, well, thank God, you know, group number three person was there. But ultimately, that, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that, thank God, you're there, you know, in this situation, whatever it is. Thank goodness you're there. I'm really strongly getting that message. Wow. Group number three, let me know how you got on with this reading below. I would love to hear from you. And I'm kind of getting, I mean, this could be a family situation. This doesn't have to be a partnership. This is some kind of situation where you want that next step. You want that next thing but it will, it will serve you to actually stop assessing things and it will serve you to not be defensive as well. Um, and in relation to the catastrophizing thing, do you catastrophize? I kind of feel like, no, you don't really. I, of all three groups, I actually think you're quite rock solid. I think you're pretty amazing. And it's because of this card because you got this you got this king of cups here you're in your heart space and the people around you are going to have heart healing because you maintain your heart space because you're good at being here people around you are going to heal as well 
Wow, group number three. I, I would love to know if this is your group, if there were any messages in here that resonated for you, I would love to hear how this one went for you in the comments below. So do let me know if you made it this far. Thank you so much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you next time.